Hey everybody, join me and my 2001 Volkswagen Eurovan Westphalia for an adventure to West Virginia into the mountains and rivers where I'm going to do some camping and other adventures. I'd love to have you join me. Happy trails. stopped at a cemetery. It's a really beautiful little spot uh, nestled in the woods and in a valley in the mountains of Pennsylvania and I'm tired. Oh my gosh. I had some coffee and it helped for a while and now it's not helping anymore. So I'm going to go back there and I'm going to lay down. Okay, I can't lay down because it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I gotta show you guys this place. These beautiful pine trees. In this river. I've been following this river for miles and miles and miles. Wow, it's amazing. Oh my god. Hallelujah. Looks like somebody's flower set up. Made its way down here from the cemetery here. Wow, that is good. Am I alone here? But I just love a good cemetery. It's it's like one of my favorite places to be. It's like quiet, you know, the dead people. They're not giving you shit. They're not putting off weird vibes. They're not demanding things of you. They're not, they're not making weird noises. Uh, they don't have any belief systems that would annoy me. Sunshine! 
Oh my gosh. May I be blessed by the sun. May I receive the shower of blessing from the sun. trying to find a place to camp and not having much luck um, the state park I'm at is, is closed it's still too early they don't open till April and apparently there's some state forests around here um, so I might try that and see if I could pull something like that off but I'm wanting to stop soon, so we'll see. Um, I also have um, iOverlander app and gonna look on that and freecampsites.net is another one. So I'm gonna check that out. So yeah, looking for a place to um, camp for the night. Talk soon. That looks like an option. This doesn't say no overnight camping. Kind of weird, but okay. I think I've figured out what I'm gonna do. Um, I actually have a, of all things, a Zoom meeting this evening. I have to be on, and so I'm trying to get settled a little bit before that happens. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm at a lake, um, State Park Lake, but um, I think it closes, you know, sometime soon. And uh, But I think I'm going to hang out here, make dinner, and do my meeting here. And then I just called a Walmart about 20 minutes away, and um, they said you can park in their parking lot. So I'm just going to park in the parking lot there tonight. So that's the plan. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted. sausage, a little bit of kale, a few other little veggies. Woo, it's hot in here. Turn that down if it can. That makes a lot more sense. And then I'm going to throw some eggs in here. And I think some rice too. Pretty much I'm almost done. Got kind of a nice little view here. Oh, the sun is so nice. Yeah, it smells like burning in here, and that's not good. This turned out really good. Kale and peppers and onions and salt and pepper and rice, sausage, egg, Bragg's coconut aminos. There you have it. Good morning. I am up. Woo! Who knew you could sleep so well in a uh, big box corporation parking lot? 
um, yeah, it went pretty well. There are about maybe four or five other vans or RVs here. And it was certainly bright, which was kind of one of the things I was worried about, but um, not too bad. I had decent blocking drapery here to attend to that, but um, there was definitely some light coming in. Wasn't loud. Um, it rained, so that was actually kind of nice, that sound. And yeah, I've, I've had a really, really pretty good night's sleep, so I'm grateful for that. So um, not much to really pack up. I didn't pop up the top or anything like that. So um, I'm just going to, yeah, put some clothes on and um, yeah, make some coffee and uh, hit the road. And I will uh, check in later. See you soon. the light, turn left onto Walnut Street, then the destination is on your left. Hey there! Woo! I am in Morgantown, West Virginia, downtown. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd give this a little try. I've um, been to Morgantown, I think before, like just kind of passing through really. So I thought I would actually stop, come downtown a little out of the way, but thought it'd be worth and see uh, what they got in the way of little coffee shop and I got a Cortado, which is my go-to coffee drink. And is that not the cutest little cup you've ever seen? It's like, you know, the size of my thumb here. It's so cute. It's uh, two, well, probably just one shot of espresso. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, probably one shot of espresso and just a tiny, tiny little bit of uh, steamed oat milk. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't super thrilled with kind of their food options, so I decided to make my own little granola bowl here in the van. So yeah, I've got some Greek yogurt, some oats, blueberries, dried cranberries, a few little bananas, pumpkin seeds, can I get any better lighting on that? Pumpkin seeds. Um, yeah, and almond butter. I'm gonna dig in here. Wow, this is one of those moments that is like <clears throat> memorable to me. This uh, granola bowl tastes really good. I actually added one more thing to it, which was a dollop of strawberry rhubarb jam on top. Not a dumb move on my part. Um, it's sunny out. There's a little bit of a chilly wind. I would guess it's probably around 50 degrees or so. I don't really know what it is, but um, so it sort of feels like that early spring kind of starting to steal into some moments of warmth when you can get them and um it just it's yeah it feels really nice and this cortado is uh just lovely still about as cute as it was uh 15 minutes ago and uh they don't last a long time as you can notice, but uh, I'm still sipping on it. It's really good. But it's been a beautiful drive to this morning. Um, you know, I was in Pennsylvania camping in Walmart parking lot last night. And um, I've come about three hours or so into West Virginia. Um, there was a little crossing through Maryland there. 
Um, but yeah, starting to see some some nice signs of spring. I saw forsythia bushes uh, along the way, which are the, the yellow ones, and then some white blooms, white blossoms. And uh, yeah, if you're from West Virginia, let me know what those are. Um, back where I live, you know, I would think of those as sort of like pear trees maybe, or even a uh, crab apple or something, but I don't, I don't think that's what it is. But um, the hilly mountains here and the town nestled in the hilly mountains is really nice to, um, nice to enjoy. So, um, but yeah, I'm actually gonna probably close the video here. I will, I'm, I've got two hours more to go on my trip and when I arrive, I will 